Good morning, everybody. So yeah, last night I did a Facebook live video. Don't mind my hair here. I did a Facebook live video and I mentioned a procreation category that could have been um, triggered by the algorithms, the artificial intelligence of Facebook. So I deleted it. But what I was trying to cover or at least just um, put out a thought process was the fact that I saw a um, an ad for plaque psoriasis medication and that plaque psoriasis medication what it is it, it does it suppresses the immune system so what it does is it targets the integumentary system shuts down the immune response of your integumentary system so that way you don't have those uh, plaque psoriasis symptoms and that is the actual intent of the prescription drug industry the allopathic which is the same thing holistic industry so if it's not completely like targeting a specific system in your body where it knows that it, it it's based upon the experiments that biotech has done based upon yeast with all the different dna because yeast will house like over 102 or 182 dna like 182 genes and those genes are representative of the different systems in your body cardiovascular system the integumentary system the uh the digestive system the um urinary system the reproductive system and then they put in components that will graft on or shut down or reverse your uh immune responses to pathogen so what happens is when you're taking something like either valtrex for herpes or that drug for plaque psoriasis it's targeting a specific system in your body to shut down the symptoms because symptoms is a body trying to heal and those symptoms will be indefinite until you actually feed your body what it needs that's why you have people who are indefinite in chronic pain chronic pain sufferers are people who have not fed their body correctly so their body is in indefinite pain they're chronic pain and that's why they're turning to cbd oil that's why they're turning to all these other immune suppressing protocols to shut down the voice of their body so they don't have to deal with it. And they're essentially a walking mutation because what happens is, is it shuts down the voice of your body and then it's going to manifest in a different way. Since you're not giving the body what it needs and you've shut down the voice of your body, which is disappearing the symptoms, then what happens is it goes back into your body and finds another way to let you know. You know, you know how you know how you guys are so like um, insistent on getting the voice out, right? And so Facebook comes in and does their little immune response, and they say, "Okay, we're gonna put you on Facebook jail for like 30 days or 10 days." And then you're sitting there going, "Like, damn, 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 what do I do? What do I do?" And then after the 10 days are up, you're like, "Okay, I'm coming back on there," and you keep wanting to get your voice out, and you keep protesting against Facebook saying Facebook is fascist or this or that, right? That's the same thing with your body. You keep shutting the voice down. It's going to come out in a different way. Just like what I'm doing. I'm re, you know, configuring my speech when the FTC says, Hey, you can't say these claims. So now I got to find a different way to say it. Cause I'm not giving up. Your body doesn't give up. You guys don't want to give up getting the word out talking about mk ultra or or things that are in the procreation categories right you want to keep exposing the industry so you're not going to give up well neither will your body so you shut down one symptom like autism with some kind of detoxing agent it's going to come out in a different way in a different voice no different than when you change your speech when you change your vernacular and not say okay julie juice can you know reverse this and reverse that now you're going to say, well, you're going to come from a different approach, right? Just like the body is going to come from a different approach. Since you're not going to listen to it because you're having plaque psoriasis, now you're going to have other issues because those drugs that suppress your immune system for that specific system, 
those drugs were, are going to create side effects, which means other systems are going to get affected. That's how it works. If you don't listen to your voice, to one voice, it's going to come in, it's going to shape shift and come out in another voice. Good morning, Penny Penny. Okay, so that's the same thing with the thing with the vaccines and the peanut allergies and all the different food allergies. Okay, so the body now, so when you take in a vaccine, you're programming the body to then create antibodies against whatever's in that vaccine. So peanut oil or peanuts, you could have shellfish in there. You could have eggs in there because they're putting in eggs, like egg stuff in the vaccines or putting in other bacteria. They're putting in, you know, other proteins, right? And so the body is going to create you know, antibodies, because you're getting it injected, you're getting that stuff in an unorthodox manner. Anything injected in you, the body is going to create antibodies against. It's going to create inflammation if you ever get exposed to those types of pathogens in another form. It's like you're, you're basically, vaccines are programming the body based upon what's in those vaccines. So it's not just the bacteria for that specific virus or strain that you're also trying to create antibodies against. It's whatever else they put in those vaccines. We can only hope and wish that it's all it was was just a virus. No, there's other adjuvants, so whatever you call it, adjuvants, adjuvants that are in those. I mean, yeah, there's mercury in there, but there's also egg. We've heard rumors that they're aborted fetus cells, but I can't substantiate that, but look, at the kids nowadays that are getting more vaccines okay so when you have a peanut allergy you're exposed so you have the peanut oil in the vaccines the body creates antibodies okay so now you're now you get exposed by eating something with nuts or peanuts or any other nuts right the body goes into shock what that shock is 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 the immune response to a poison because you just programmed that body to, to attack anything that has the properties of that nut, that peanut, whatever's in that vaccine, the body is now programmed to attack. So what does it do when it attacks? It creates antibodies. What do antibodies do? It creates inflammation. That's symptoms. Symptoms and inflammation is the body trying to heal from that attack. So, any type of disease, any type of reaction is the body trying to heal from those pathogens. Now, now with, with Jilly Juice, right, you're now getting access to nutrition. Now you're getting access to nutrition. You're going to have to bring up those pathogens from deep within the cell structures. And you're going to go into a healing symptom type scenario because a body has to then repair the damage so it's healing because pain is healing and then eventually you'll never have to deal with that allergy again you'll never have to deal with that symptom of that specific system again but you got to go through that pain healing process so no matter what any disease you have, your body is desperately trying to heal, no matter what. Now it's about access to nutrition, so that way you're not sustaining indefinite chronic pain, cancer disease, and chronic illness for the rest of your life. Your whole point is to never deal with that same pain again. No different than when you're on Facebook jail and Facebook tells, tells you you can't talk about this specific subject matter, so then you go and alert people in a different way. You don't talk about that subject matter. You find a different angle. That's what the body is doing when you're on all these detoxes, when you're on all of these immune suppressing protocols. The body is going to find a different angle to let you know. Okay, that's what symptoms are, is the body's different angles of letting you know you're messing up your system. So when you're in pain, Y'all got to stop bitching about it because really your body's trying to heal. But if you're just going back to your CBD oils and all of your detoxes, you're basically compounding the issue. And then you're going to be a walking mutated person who's eventually going to fall over the cliff one day. And you're rolling the dice. 
So when you're doing the urine therapy, when you're doing all of your bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar and garlic and honey and all that stuff, you're just putting another nail in your coffin. And then Chris is saying, I'm having way less allergic reactions since JJ. Yeah, I mean, allergies are going to be less and less and less and less until it's completely eradicated because guess what? When you boost your immune system to such an extent where you give yourself access to 100% nutrition, you could be around pathogens that would not necessarily affect you like it would affect somebody who's heavily vaccinated. Heavily vaccinated people have the lowest immune system, but also unvaccinated people who don't have a high function immune system will be susceptible to pathogens. That's why being simply unvaccinated is not the only thing. Now, what Kevin and I are going to be coming from the standpoint is how much nutrition are you absorbing? And obviously, if you are taking the pills, powder supplements and detoxes and all these different protocols, you're not accessing the, the right amount of nutrition. So now you got to question your methods. And there is no nutritional benefit in vinegar when that's acetic acid. That's ethanol, ethanol. Okay, so don't tell me that you're getting your nutritional elements from apple cider vinegar because it's apples. No, that's all like fermented sugar feeds candida and then the, the acids and the acetic, you know, the acids or the acetic acid and then the ethanol. All that is going to work against your body. It's negative elements. So... The real crux of Jilly Juice is not so much of how many pathogens. Yes, we know there's a lot of pathogens out there. That's just the nature of our society because we live in a society where positive and negative live hand in hand with each other. And then there is uh, biodiversity. So now it's relative to purpose. What is a purpose to the human body? What is the purpose to that plant? What is the purpose to my gun? What's the purpose of this phone? I'm not going to be shoving this phone in my butt to get the derived, the, you know, the heavy metals that my body needs. No, because this is not the right purpose for my body. And the phone's purpose is just to be a phone. So everything has a purpose. And what would be a negative element against this phone? A bullet coming at it 500 miles an hour. I mean, I don't know what the miles per hour in a bullet. But if somebody shot my phone with a gun, that would be a negative element impacting my phone. No different than if somebody has six tons of metal coming at them in the middle of the road. That's a negative element. Your purpose is to stay alive. Your purpose is to have soft flesh that has its own defense systems. And then Ellen says, I found out that I injured my rotor, rotor cuff in my shoulder. Doctor was pushing. Yeah, I'm sorry that they're pushing, but now you got to up your juice so you can fix that rotor cuff. My husband's only like, cartilage is not alive. Cartilage is part of the design of the human body. You need cartilage. And when you are missing cartilage, it's because you've used your arm like, cause he's missing and he has some issues with his shoulder. He's been using, he's, he's a, a labor and what is it? He's in the physical labor industry. He throws chains and he hauls steel and he was a landscaper and he's a man that works with his hands. Okay. When you overuse your body in some way or your immune system is so low that it's weakened, that you have weak shoulders and weak legs, it's going to you know, the cartilage and other things are going to be used up because you're not actively regenerating your cells. So even when you're in an accident or, you, or you're having injuries because of overuse over the 40 years of your life of living hard, you've got to be regenerating. You've got to be feeding your system the nutrition so you can keep self-replicating. Nutrition equals self-replication. And if you're not self-replicating to where you are reversing the aging process on a continuous basis, then your methods don't work. And that is, 
a total hard concept for those that have been trained by the system. They can't wrap their mind around nutrition actually is a reason why people, lack of nutrition is a reason why people have chronic pain and cancer disease and chronic illness. As well as negative looping thoughts that always put them in the victim mentality. Major victims are also mutated. Constant victims where they're never responsible for their behavior. It's always somebody else's fault are mutated. They're not regenerating cells to then finally make them relax and realize where are they responsible in life. So, so now we got to come from the standpoint that it's about strategic nutrition. So if you're on a protocol for years and you're an herbalist and you still haven't reversed the aging process, you need a question. You need to question your methods. And that's why I do attack the physical characteristics of a person who is said to be in the health and wellness and yet they're aging and they're defensive when someone drops new information that completely conflicts with their thought process. You need to go to jillyjuice.com, J-I-L-L-Y-J-U-I-C-E, Janine, dot com and read all about it. It's lactic fermented cabbage and kale with a diet and with a healing symptom management program. Please go to that website, get the book, you'll read all about it. So anyway, so yeah, strategic nutrition is huge. So it's very easy to point out the inconsistencies in anybody's protocols when they're promoting herbs, okay? Because I see these beautiful people who are saying, oh, I'm in ketosis. This really young, beautiful girl that I was seeing on my Facebook. And she's, you know, she, someone shared her post and she's like, oh, I'm in ketosis. I have this amazing energy. And I'm looking at the scene like this chick about. So I go and scroll through her Facebook and then I see, oh, yeah, she's young. She's in her 20s and 30s. So she has a few years before her body breaks down. And then I saw that she was promoting herbs. That she was promoting herbs. And I'm like, yeah. You will speak your little truth about being in ketosis and yeah, you're beautiful, but the people that you surround yourself with who actually adopt the same um, belief system, they're aging around you. This is where you're going to end up, beautiful girl, because there are a lot of beautiful women on Facebook who are very young, who are promoting protocols that have killed off people over time. Find that aging herbalist, Dr. CB, Rick Simpson, who else? Look at Mercola. He's bald. Look at Dr. Tenpenny. She's aging. Look at Pam Popper out of Columbus, Ohio, completely aging. Yes, she's against the supplements industry, but she also is not reversing the aging process. So obviously her protocols are not working for her or she would look like her daughter if she had a daughter. You wouldn't tell that she was in her 50s or maybe 60s. You would not know how old a person is when they're on the protocol. You'd think they're about 25 or 30. So then when you see someone that's young that says, oh, I'm in ketosis, I feel amazing. Now you got to look at their protocol. And if they're hawking all of those pills, powder supplements and MLMs and you know, some kind of like ketogenic diet or whatever, then you know it'll be a matter of time before the body breaks down. They'll be getting their facials, they'll getting their plastic surgery, which eventually over time you're going to see that it doesn't, you know, obviously it doesn't look good anymore. And they'll be, you know, get, getting their creams and all of that. And then they won't be able to fool anybody anymore, but that's going to take some time. So in the meantime, while they're young and beautiful, they'll snow everybody around them. They will mesmerize people with their natural beauty until the body breaks down. And that's when you know they're full of shit. But you won't know that until you actually look at their protocols. What are they doing? Oh, yeah, these herbalists, man. These young ladies who are piggybacking off the predecessors that have already died. That's where they're headed. And it sucks because you won't be able to know. Someone that doesn't even know anything will see this really beautiful girl, young girl, who's saying, oh, I'm in ketosis, and here's what I'm doing. 
oh, they're not going to know the difference. And that sucks because you're not going to be able to reach them until they have tried everything, until they've heard about you, about Jillian's making all these crazy claims about reversing the aging process. But no, I mean, th that's what it's all about. It's about strategic nutrition. It's not about coming from the defensive standpoint. Now you're trying to be offensive, but offensive in a way that is like being proactive. You're offending all of the negative elements by protecting your body, being in a bubble, creating enough antibodies, and regenerating cells. Because it's not just about creating antibodies. That's where the vaccine industry has failed is that all they're doing is just creating antibodies by artificially manipulating your system, but they're not actually helping you regenerate the cells from the damage, from those mutations, from that initial pathogen exposure. And that's why you see these kids that are misfiring. There's glitches in their personality. There's glitches in their body. There's glitches in their learning process. And you know who those kids are because they're having a hard time maintaining they have to be on an independent educational plan but nowadays is there anything normal i mean back then when i was growing up i was in uh what is it special education because i have learning disabilities i couldn't sit still for the life of me i probably had a billion parasites in me which i know i did because i saw a few pinworms and stuff coming in out of my skin one summer but I was in special ed, so I had my own independent educational plan. Now, how many kids out there are on their own IEP? The reason why is because they're malfunctioning based upon all the mutations and the pathogens that they cannot overcome. They cannot reverse the mutations from those initial exposures, from the vaccines as well as environmental exposures in the food and the water and everything else. And there really isn't anything poisonous unless your body is so overwhelmed, which means that if you're in a garage, with all the windows and doors closed and you turn on your car, that's when you will die. But if you're just merely walking around and whatever, and you, and you haven't fallen dead, then you have recourse to then be able to balance and counter those negative elements. And that's why I talk about negative and positive elements. I don't talk about the words like garlic. I don't talk about the words you know, like boosting your immune system and you know, all that. I mean, that's a very generic term that is used in the marketing world. Now it's about positive and negative elements. Now you can look up, is diatomaceous negatively charged or positively charged? Then you can look up how many positive and how many negative, neutrons, electrons, and all that stuff. So when you look up uh, salt equals a positive charge, you will see it has like two electrons or something or two whatever it is. Okay, you can look that up. You can look up um, diatomaceous earth. It has negative charge. Okay, so when you have a high negative charge like clay, a high negative charge, it means it's going to kill everything in sight. No, it's not going to kill you unless you are 99% battery dead and you're force feeding somebody bentonite clay or, or uh, baking soda, or apple cider vinegar, or CBD oil. When someone is 99% battery dead, those negative elements will kill the person. But since if you're 50% battery dead and you're taking negative elements, it's going to be a process, going to take time for the body to finally knock off. And that's called the aging process. And that's why you see these holistic herbalists looking decrepit. I'm sorry, but they look decrepit. You see these people that work out that claim that they're so sexual. Oh, I'm so sexual. It's so healthy. To be. And they're aging. Well, yeah, the body knows you're going to kick off pretty soon. So when you're sexual and you're working out, you are destroying your body. And now the body is going into this instinct mode where they need to keep the race or the, 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 the human race going. They want you to have sex and have another baby because they got to keep, the, we don't want extinction. The human race does not want extinction. So that's why reproduction happens. And so all of the industries out there, the, uh, the allopathic and the holistic, I don't care, everything in the system, even the ones that claim to be alternative from the allopathic are all practicing immune suppressing protocols. Because right now, 
if you are using a uh, product that you're trying to eradicate the symptoms and you're trying to cover up the, sim the symptoms or the pain, you are practicing immune suppression. Nobody at all in this world, except for Jilly Juice, is actually wanting to face the pain. Jilly Juice wants to face the pain. We're not trying to anesthetize the immune system. We're trying to face and understand what pain actually means. And that is what pisses off so many. I mean, I get hate mail all the time. And then after a while, you're like, why are you saying F you, F you to me? Nobody has died on this protocol. You cannot die from cabbage, water, and salt. But you'll see all the propaganda out there because they're trying to discredit me because they know what I'm doing and what I'm saying works. This Jilly Juice has cornered the market. And that is almost a scary place to be because I have no competition. However, you guys have the information. You guys need to exemplify my information so we keep this going. You die, the information dies with you. And that is why we keep repeating histories because everybody is dying in each generation and no one's passing down the lessons that they learned. No one has passed down the lessons that they learned. And so every generation gets reintroduced to a new problem and they have no idea how to solve it until the system tells them how to solve it and then they're down on the same trajectory that's why there's generational abuse in families substance and su substance abuse in families domestic abuse in families alexa said this doesn't make sense do i know a lot of narcissists <sighs> do you know a lot of narcissist people i mean what kind of question is that alexis Yeah, trolls will come for you. That's why you have to be very careful in what you expose on the internet. They will find where you are. They will call CPS. That's why all of your questions, especially with children or whatever else, need to be in the website, not on Facebook, because you will make yourself a target. There are a lot of people that do not want this information out there, and they'll find every way to discredit me. They'll say that I'm crazy. They'll say I'm this. They'll say I'm that. Hey, that's fine but people are getting benefit. So protect yourself and protect your children and protect your family. That's why I say, take all of your concerns. And if you're gonna be active on my Facebook, you have millions and millions and thousands of eyes on you. And if your Facebook is open, they will know where you live. They'll know when to call CPS. So if you put something on there that says that, you know, and you have a picture of you feeding your kid my protocol, they're going to call CPS and say, hey, she's poisoning her kid with this protocol, with all of this salt. And then guess what? You get a knock on your door from CPS in your area. And then you got to go through that process if you let them in. If you don't let them in, they got to get a warrant, then that's something different. But people are scared of government agencies. So they'll bend to their will, which is fine. The ASPCA knows who I am. I've met the director. They've seen Sugar. She's fine. Because had everybody call in, you know, the ASPCA saying she's killing her dog. No, Sugar's probably the most healthiest dog in this whole city, if not all of Ohio or in the world. Well, not the world, because some of you have your dogs on their protocol, and they're very healthy. So I'm already known in my area. So nobody can do any and use the government against me because the government already has been in my world. But you guys need to protect yourself. Don't be naive to think that Facebook is a friendly place because it isn't. Not only me gets attacked, but anyone else that's out there talks about autism. There are people that wrote a book about autism. Patty Collette made, made this very apparent. She said that this guy wrote a book about autism and was set to go speak at a bookstore. And then the bookstore got so much flack that they had to cancel that speaking engagement because it was a safety issue. So no matter what, if you go against the grain, if you go against the grain, you're going to be attacked. I'm not any special than another person trying to expose what's going on. 
But now we need to be even more than just exposed because that's easy. We all know what the problem is. We have a million people out there talking about the problem. We know vaccines are the problem. We know that, okay, you have too many negative elements raining down upon you because of everyday things like flying or, you know, transportation. You can't help that. So now what you can help is your access to nutrition. That is strategic, not just eating organic, because that's the whole industry's way of, of uh, distracting you from the real issue. Because let me tell you, all these raw vegans are still dying. These veganists who are doing whatever they're doing, eating raw and eating vegetarian and it's all organic, they're still dying. Kevin Van Rompuy, you're safer if you're from Europe because the trolls were planning to call CPS on me, but they failed. Yeah. The tro yeah, but they and they do that even with the with the anti-vax people. When you go into an anti-vax group that just talks about being anti-vaccine, do you have pro-vaxxers in there casing the joint, trying to find out who has an open profile so they can go and mess with your life, mess with your family, mess with your job? So anyways, this is, you know, this is very important to understand. No matter what, it's about access to nutrition. If you're aging, you're not healthy. Don't think that your aging gracefully in the system is a healthy way. Just because you're not battling some crazy cancer bedridden doesn't mean that you're not dying and decaying inside. And that's a major programming to confront because it would mean that Everything you thought you knew <coughs> was completely false. Whether it was intentionally, whether it was unintentional, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter whose fault it is. What matters is now we understand the role of nutrition. And if you are steadily aging in the system, you're not getting adequate nutrition. So you need to reevaluate your protocols. You need to reevaluate your belief system. You need to reevaluate why you're making money. And yesterday, yeah, last night I was looking at somebody's profile that tried my juice last year, a couple of years ago, and I found that they were selling Plexus. They also work for, or they write for the vitamin shop. They're aging in the system. And, and I'm thinking, you know what? You really need to reevaluate your whole life here. Because what you're doing is you basically sold your soul. You got in bed with the industries and you have no problem selling immune suppressing products to all of your friends and family. And you don't even realize that. So I, I, I almost like, like I want to attack this person, but I really can't comfortably attack because it's about ignorance. When someone's ignorant, when someone's ignorant, they don't know what the hell they're doing and they're just trying to make money. And when you come from that standpoint of having to make money because you have to support a lifestyle, you have to support a reputation, you're not willing to step outside the box because that would mean that, yeah, you would lose a lot, right? You'd lose your standing in the community. You would lose all of your toys, your private schools for your kids who are getting indoctrinated into the system to kill the next generation. Yeah, you'd have to face who you are in this world. And if you want to be Satan's minion, by all means, keep talking those immune suppressing protocols. I wish I could tell that to someone because I know as soon as I do, they're going to block me and then there goes that. So I just hope that maybe they'll watch this and maybe they relook. But I doubt it because when you sell your soul, you almost have to give up your life today to be able to change it. When you align yourself with me, you are taking a huge risk. The system will pull you back into their game, especially if you feel you have to have your Lexus or your Hummer or your $500,000 house that your whole business has bought you. That's a hard pill to swallow. swallow. So it's going to take some time for this information to really permeate the mainstream, but it's already making waves. Thank God for Dr. Phil. Thank God for PewDiePie. Thank God for 
Kyle Curtis and Non Sequitur. Thank God for Daily Mail, BuzzFeed, Newsweek. Who else? Cleveland 19. Much as they attack me, they're also getting the word out. And then, you know, a thinking person will understand where I'm coming from. And then a very mutated person will not ever, and they were never meant to. If you get my information, it's because you were meant to. If you don't get it, then you weren't meant to until you can sit down and stop reacting. And then some people just, you know, want to make money in their life and they don't care. So they're willing to just, you know, go balls to the walls with taking everybody down with them as long as they're making their millions. So, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's the, it's funny. It's just funny. I mean, it really isn't, but it is. So anyways, it is about strategic nutrition. And you're right, Jess. Money cannot buy what you have. Money can't buy the best amazing health. And so, you know, I, I, I just chuckle at the industry and, and, you know, all of these beautiful people trying to sell these pills, powders, and supplements, and herbs. And, you know, maybe we're not meant to have those people on this earth over time. Because when you're constantly self-replicating, you're not going to be aging and passing away and contracting and triggering all of the cancer disease and chronic illness and chronic pain. You won't be. So we just have to sit back, do the best we can, 100% to get the word out, give people the choice, exemplify what this protocol is, and then nature will weed out who doesn't belong because nature will find a balance. Nature always does. Nature is very smart. You can't fool Mother Nature. Because remember, Mother Nature wants to live just like that struggling plant in the cement sidewalk, just like you, Facebook activists, when you're told to cool your, chill your heels in Facebook jail, you find another angle. That's what the body does. When you ignore one symptom and you suppress it, it will find a different angle until you do something about it. That's huge. Everything is a microcosm of the balancing forces. The body is no different than you on Facebook. The body is no different than me dealing with the FTC. When someone tries to counter you with something, then you find a different angle to get your point across. Okay, so they're not going to hear it this way. So you're not going to listen to the symptoms with plaque psoriasis. So then they stifle you and shut you up for a minute until you can find a different angle to get the point across. And that's what happens with these drugs and these detoxes in the allopathic holistic industry. Okay. Bye.